good um, midday. It's midday. I don't know whether to say afternoon or morning. Um, so I'll just say hello. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do, I think it's week 10 of my um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Um, I am a little bit, I'm recording a little bit ahead just so I don't risk missing, uh, you know, the Monday. So it's always ready for Monday. And um, today I'm going to make um, from my antique book pages or like scanned ones or letters. I've got a couple of letters here as well to use. Um, I'm going to make those um, accordion folder um, envelope. They're kind of not, they're not envelopes, but they're trifold accordion thingies, ephemera holders. We've made them before, but I'm curious to see how many can I do in 45 minutes. Now, before we start, I'm just going to get my timer ready. It's already on 45 minutes. And um, Brittany's fight for freedom inside the... Oh, mm -hmm. There we go. That's a notification from 60 Minutes Australia. So, um, yep. So, just before you start, you're going to need um, whatever you want to make them out of, like whatever printable or paper you can make it, even out of um, floral book pages and things. Um, and I've printed this like on a eight mealy sort of paper, so I didn't print on the other side because I like the color of it. It's not white, but you could print on both sides if you wanted to. And before you start, it is allowed because I'm making the rules um, to you know tear off the white bits, the the plain bits. Didn't do such a good job there, but you are allowed to do that. That you're allowed to prepare that before because um, that's allowed. And and for it to be completed, it needs to have the accordion in it and the eyelet and I'm using Baker's twine but you can use whatever you like and then that will be considered complete and then later on if you want to go and embellish or anything like that that's allowed okay so you know it's pretty loosey goosey um goosey loosey loosey goosey um sort of challenge you just kind of wing it and do what you want so I've prepared those I'm going to put my timer on here we go it's on I'll put it over there okay and oh you also need you can i like to use for the inside i like to use these sorts of pages like the index pages um, of books so i've got a few different ones there so hopefully i've got enough so my first job i'm going to do is i'm going to try fold them and um, just sort of decide so i'm just thinking about that's going to be the up and i just randomly fold them i do end up um, and I leave a little space there, but I do end up pretty much with the same, they all end up pretty much the same size. So I'm going to do it like this. So on, obviously on the back, it'll be upside down. I'm not giving you any measurements. You just eyeball it. You just leave a little flap. That's probably two inches maybe, should we guess? Do you want me to tell you? I told you I wasn't going to tell you, but now I'm telling you because I feel bad. A, a bit less, a, one, and, one and a half inches. There we go. So about one and a half inches I usually leave at the top, but I, that that's just eyeballing it. And it depends on the size of your paper. But if you kind of fold them a little bit, sort of, I mean, they're fairly similar. White one's a bit taller, but the other ones are fairly similar. Um, if you eyeball it, um, if you fold them fairly similar to each other, then you can kind of wing it with your inside. Just cut them all the same size you know what I mean that makes you go faster so it's pretty pretty simple sort of thing to do um, isn't that pretty that page really lends itself to doing that obviously that side is then upside down but you know it doesn't really matter I, well it doesn't matter to me I don't know if it matters to others and I've torn them sometimes a little bit crooked but I tried to go as straight as I could But it's a nice thing to have to put ephemera in or that's the same page um, or even if you've got a big journal um, put them in a big journal or if you've got um, you know if you have a smaller journal just make a smaller one just print them out smaller and make a smaller one and they're a nice thing to have to accompany a journal because you can put things in now in these ones i'm going to put just two accordions so my next job is, this is the only, this is the next bit. I'm going to get my pages and I'm going to fold them up like this. And I'll need a lot. How many do I have? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if we can get nine done. That would be interesting. So I'm just going to fold up my pages. So that means I need, if I'm doing two, I need 18, 18 um, pieces. I've got four. That's four. Yep. I'll put them in groups of five, so that way. Um, oh, no. Well, no, I'll do them in groups of six. So that will be six with that one. That's six. So I need three groups of six. I can count. I can. Maybe I can even fold them together. That would go faster. That's two. Take them out. Two. Three, four, I've gotten the inside, five, doesn't matter if this is a different page, you can attach that six and then I need, I still need, now here we go, these books are really big so I reckon, oh no I can't, I'm looking at that, make them, they're going to be a little bit in from the edge. It's not going to be, half is not going to cut it. So it would be really cool if I could have folded them like that. I'll try one. Let's try one. Oh, no, this is not good paper. This is cracking. See, it's cracked. That's no good. They'll fall apart. I have to reinforce them. Is this the same paper? I think this is the same paper. Oh, I was all excited about that. Let's see. Oh, that one didn't crack. Maybe it was just, ah, uh, that's, it's the first cover. Anyway, I have to keep them this big because otherwise, um, otherwise they, um, they're not going to be big enough. So those ones aren't cracking, but that one did. So I'll put that one aside. Now I've lost where I got up, where I was up to. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I can't count. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, so this is my next round. That's two. So if they're not cracky pages, this is this is a good way to use them up. I don't want cracky pages. That's four. Then we need two more. One. And two. And these are nice, strong pages. That's why I like to use them. Like, I don't use other book pages. I like to use them from the big books because they, they seem to be uh, stronger. Now, what I might do here, I've lo I can't find my other rule. I think it's in the other room. So I think what I might do, normally I eyeball it, but I think I might be a good girl and just, I'm going to come in just a little bit. It's going to be seven I should look at centimetres actually. Eight and a half centimetres, I'm going to do. Let me write that down because memory like a sieve, I'll, I'll forget from one second to the next. So I've already forgotten. Eight and a half, I said. So you do inches if you do inches. If you're Now, don't, you, don't want to, you don't attach them right down at the bottom. Come in just a little bit. And I'm going to do, I'll do ten and a half centimetres. Ten and a half. Okay, and I'll do it the same for all, and then I can just trim them down. That because that would be my biggest size, I think. And then I just trim them down. I've got my chomper. I trim them down as I go. It's a pretty fast job, actually. It doesn't doesn't really take that long. So we'll just move those out of the way. So I can't even remember my measurements already. So my height is. How can my height be eight and a half? That's not right. Silly goose. Let's just measure it here. Not eight and a half. What a ding dong. It's, we'll do it 18 and a half. 18 and a half. So I've got to do 10 and a half here. I can probably cut more together. I'm going to cut that edge off. I want the writing, so I'm going to line it up there. I might start cutting them together. I'll just do the first one. And that one's going to be. 18 and a half and we'll check it let's check it let's check that it'll fit that's going to fit nicely in there okay good so that's going to be my basic measurement so we'll grab a couple and we'll do a couple at a time i think so what did i say 10 and a half 
So obviously you'll have your measurements depending on what you decide to do. I might line it up on the kind of wicky paper. Old paper does smell, doesn't it? Um, now I know many of you have told me many, many ways to get rid of the smell. Does anybody have any recommendations for someone who has put the um, put the pages in the book already and the papers smell? So, what is the recommendation for that? I would, I would, my thought would be to leave it um, outside, outside in in the fresh air on a on a dry sort of day, not in direct sunlight, and just let it air out. Is what I would probably do. I know you can do stuff to the paper before you put it in the book, but once it's in the book, I would imagine I, I would um, do that, something like that. Put it outside in the dry air and let it air out. Obviously, don't leave it out overnight, but bring it in and then do it for a few days in and out sort of thing. That's what I think I would do. In fact, I've got some really old books, um, some of my, you know, that are going to be going, that are in my bookshelf and when it sort of warms up a bit i'm going to put them out just in the fresh air not in the sunlight just in the fresh air for a little bit just to see if the smell of the pages goes away because paper can be very whiffy it can um i can actually smell this paper i know that you can um someone is it right that you you put them in a um you know a seal lock bag the papers with some bicarbonate soda i need to try that and you um, leave them in the freezer for a few weeks. Is that correct? Anyway, I know you ladies. There's a lot of very knowledgeable ladies out there who can, who can help with this. Um, help us get the stink out of our pages. Although I, I won't get the stink out of my pages because I don't have the time to to do, do all of that. It would just mean... Um, Yep, you'll have to do it. If you buy my bundles and they smell, you'll have to do that yourself because I just can't follow it, keep up with everything. Um, I'm just doing these singly, just, I don't know why, because I, I kind of, I love, I love my guillotine. I'm only chopping off one bit there because it's about the right size, that page. But um, I quite, quite enjoy it. Oh, here we go. I'll do these one, these two together. So they just make it with the 18 and a half. I much prefer the guillotine. What what cutters do you guys prefer? I much prefer the guillotine to the sliding one. I find the sliding one goes blunt really quickly. Um, I know these kind of take up a bit of space, but I do prefer it. Oh, another note, thing to note, excuse me, this popped into my mind. Um, I better tell you before I forget. Um, is, you know, make sure you've got your, where they open, you want them all at on the same side. You want the fold all on the bottom on the bottom and you want the opening all at the top. That's very important to remember. Okay. Hopefully I've got enough. Doesn't matter, I've got more pages here if I need them. I mean, you can use anything you like. You can use anything, anything you can. Even be nice to have sort of nice um, recycled or straw paper has your pockets inside that could be cool i've got lots of bits and pieces of straw paper should do that one time now just a minute i need these rough edges to both be on the same side i mean the risk is doing when you're doing them together that obviously one might not be exactly straight because um we've done them together so i can put this big one down i'll put it over there and throw those out and now the next important job i'm going to make sure i've got all of my folds at the top okay we want to glue our little pockets i'm just going to crease my folds a bit i'm going to use the little tombow glue and i've got my pile here i'm just going to open them run some glue down there you want a nice little applicator now you could stitch these I'm not going to stitch them I'm going to glue them and you want to make sure they stick so I'll put that one over there and make, always keep your top keep them facing in the same direction the fold at the bottom 
and the opening at the top so that way you don't make a boo-boo and glue them together one up and one down and then one pocket you can open and the other pocket you can't because it's up, upside down so all of that has taken 15 minutes If I wanted to be really snazzy, well, maybe we will be snazzy. Have, oops, now that wasn't snazzy at all because I just dipped it into the glue. That's not snazzy. If I wanted to be really snazzy, I could just open up another one, have a bit of a production line going and do two at once. So, and this technique I saw, I don't know who invented it, but I saw Liz the... I was going to say Liz the booksmith. That's just confusing two people in, in one go, isn't it? Liz the paper project. Is that it? Yeah. I saw her a while ago do that. And I, I, I did a video pretty much when I watched it. But I'm always behind watching my videos. But that was an old video. So we'll do two. Just making sure I've got my folds at the bottom. And the opening at the top. And we will... I'm left. I'm a lefty. I don't know why I started on the left. I should start on the right. So I'll probably dip my arm in the glue. And that's gone crooked, so that'll be a smaller pocket. But you do sort of have to put it down and, and just press it together and make sure it's sticking. And if you do it like in mass production, then, then that way, by the time you get to the bottom of your pile, your other ones are dry. I didn't pull out two this time, oh well. Ho oh, hum. Now, obviously, if I have to trim it down on the sides because it's too big for one, I will have to re-glue it. So that's a thought. But I'm just going to continue on because I have a feeling they'll pretty much be okay for all of them because the letters um, were fairly similar, I think, in size. No, the, the, the book pages. The letters might be smaller. Don't know. Don't know, but you know, we'll just go with it. If I have to re-glue it, I'll re-glue it. Oh, and I haven't watched Tina's Got going on a great um, thing. She might have finished it by now. Um, she was doing Pinterest inspiration. See, that one's not sticking. You need to come back and press that. If you capture that, not sticking. That's very naughty. It's not sticking. Come on. Just make sure. Let's double. Now I'm having a doubt. That one's not sticking. I better go. Just a minute. I'm going to go through these quickly and just make sure they are sticking. And be careful that I put them the right side up. Don't want them popping open in your accordion, do you? Obviously, stitching would resolve that problem, but I don't want to stitch. Because that's not part of my 45 minutes. Okay, so that's those. I've gone over those again. We'll just go over this one. Obviously, it's a wet glue, so it's probably still got room for manoeuvring a bit. Making sure it's closed. Okay, so note to self, always double check that it's sticking. I'm just double checking they are all facing the right way because I would not want to have one up and one down. Okay, so now I can keep on. So this is this is a, a little part of the pro process that takes a little bit longer. Oh yeah, what was I saying? I was talking about Tina. She's been doing the Pinterest inspiration. I haven't had a chance to watch any of the videos yet because I really have not been what, on YouTube much at all watching. I've just been doing other stuff. And so have not had the opportunity to watch so many videos. And goodness, so I, I have been trying to, with the ones that I see, I have tried to add to the the uh, Roxy's weekly challenge playlist but I haven't um, had a chance to watch any of them yet so 
And then I'll just search the hashtag, hashtag again and if I find some more that haven't been put in there, I will put them in. So, yeah, you need to sort of um, close them and then come back and close them again. Just until the glue holds. I mean, if you're using Fabri-Tac, that's going to be a super fast job, isn't it? Because that dries. That's got acetane, acetate, something like that in it. So that makes it dry really quickly. Whereas I'm just using good old Tombow glue. Really love the type on this one. Really like that. And love the colour of the paper too. It's a lovely accrue. I'm going to start over here. There. Yeah. Part of them not seeming that they're sticking to me probably is because I'm not putting the glue right on the edge. I'm just bringing it in a little bit and I probably need to sort of squeeze it out, get sticky fingers. I mean, this must be the most enthralling video to watch, really enthralling. Really, really exciting video, isn't it? Oh well, these are good things to have, so I need to make them. Nearly there. Then we get to the bit, I find this bit fun. I like doing this next bit. So I've got a few more. At least you'll have no doubt about the process. You will have seen it happen so many times. There'll be no doubt about what you're supposed to do. sticky fingers. I have a towel here. Oh, it's on the floor. I do have a towel. I probably should put it on my lap and just use it. But anyway, it's on the floor. Don't have time to pick it up. It's no time. Time is a ticking. Okay. Clean my mat. I need to clean my ruler. Clean my mat. My ruler's got glue all over it. The poor ruler. I'm going to give that a clean. I just really like the applicator on that Tombow glue. It's really good. Just getting the glue off my fingers. Okay. It's like I have all the time, all day, so I'm acting like I've got all day, don't aren't I? I'm just faffing about. Okay. Right. That. Last one. Now I'll quickly double check some of them just to make sure. And then flip it over so the bottom ones, because I'll start with the bottom ones they're the driest if you could call them dry I don't know okay that's the last one so that can go on the bottom and again in this process make sure you've got the tops at the top one's okay, that one's okay, okay, yep, they've all glued, good, okay, now my next job is to get my glue stick, have a sip of coffee, because got time for that, we want two at a time, so this is my top one it opens there 
this is my bottom one and it opens there so I want I'm going to put their bottoms together the folds okay and I'm going to grab my glue and just put a generous amount your glue stick won't hold if you're not generous like mine is really got a lot of glue on it and then glue them together I'm only doing two as I said so they open like that and put it aside put that on the bottom again because that's the bottom now what's happening here ah oh, I think I had my fold ah oh, that one was upside down lucky I saw that and then there's that one and they can put their bottoms together I don't know why I enjoy this I really do I just enjoy it but lots of glue I really press hard on my glue but you don't want it to come apart and you're only putting the strip down the center, guys. Only down the center for those of you who've never done it before. Because otherwise, if you glue it all over there, then it won't spring out like that. It'll all be glued down and be rigid. So you want it to just be down the center. Give it a press, make sure it's all sticking. And then there's that one. So my next two tops, tops are there. Let's get out of the way. There, and we'll flip them down. I think I'm going a little bit too slow. That's that one. I might need to pick up the pace a bit. Grab these two bottoms together. I keep saying it to myself so I remember. Both there. bottoms together and you can kind of see where your fold is it's a bit thicker I'm very ambitious thinking I'm going to oops thinking I'm going to get nine done Lots of glue. Okay. And you can make these as pretty as you like, you know. It's also nice with the that concise British flora book, those full pages of um of um florals. They look nice too. Now I've got too much glue here. I've glued it shut. Just a sec, it's smooshed. What's happening here? There it is. Got it. So just check they're open. I've got two more to do. Yeah, those um, floral pages are very nice for this sort of thing too. Not for the not for the insides. I mean for the outside and just use like this plain oops not straight plain um plain book pages like this on the inside just make sure they open okay and then last two got a few blobs of glue there but they'll they'll, they'll, they'll just help holding it all together okay so that's done Again, I'm going to flip it over because they won't be dry yet, but they'll be nearing drying. Okay, so let's hope, fingers crossed, everything fits. Okay, so my first job to do is, see I've made it a bit smaller, so that way I'm playing it safe. I'm just going to grab a glue page and the first thing, you want to make sure your opening is at the top, the fold is at the bottom, always. And I'm going to glue it to the back you want to make sure yep you want to make sure it doesn't come up higher than the front sometimes you could have a boo-boo and you put your glue on these folded book pages not on here because you'll put too much glue then and then it won't you'll glue it shut because we've got a little lip we've got a little space there and if you put your glue up on up to here you'll glue it shut so you don't want to do that so that's the first one put it aside next put some glue I'm going to put my glue on here so I'll glue it to the front first then 
in this case. You can glue it to the back or the front. So I have to flip it around and I can center it. Probably better to do that. You can center it better. Make sure it's kind of straightish. Glue it there. And then when you glue along here, plenty of glue. Always remember plenty of glue. And put that there. It's two. Put them in the garbage. Um, I kind of like gluing it to the back. I don't know why. But if you're gluing it to the back, you just have to make sure you're gluing it below the front, if you know what I mean, so that it doesn't hang out the top. It's not the end of the world if it does. Okay, three. So this part is quite quick. Get some glue on here. I might not even go on my glue book page because I'm not gluing, going to glue right, right, right to the top. Get that out of the way. Grab this one. Oops. So just up from the fold there. Doesn't need to go right down to the fold. And then just glue that there. Another one. I right, see so I've got a bit of glue there. Yeah, you'll have to then afterwards then get you go and double check that they open. So I'm gluing it to the back first. So I'm flipping it over so I've got the bottom at the bottom, I hope. Just check, yes. And glue it here. Gosh, I love these book pages. Put there. And if it were to open at the sides for some reason, maybe didn't put enough glue there or something like that, then you can just um, slip some in afterwards. I am smushing really hard my glue just to make sure there's plenty there. And I've got that closed. I just want to make sure I open it now. Okay, good. And the same the same deal um, with the... Now this is... No, this might be all right. Let's see. Um, same deal with the... When you're gluing it on here, it's just a strip of glue. Just makes it. Just a strip of glue because otherwise you won't get the expandable bit. It'll be stiff and rigid and you'll have trouble opening it. So I need to be careful with this one. I need to bring it down a little bit. Just makes it into this letter. And get that up there. I'm determined. Oh my goodness. Now I've smushed too much glue there. I'm just going to grab my towel. Oh, oh, my towel was tangled in the thing. Just going to get that off. Hopefully that won't close it. We'll see. We'll just have to leave that one open a little bit until it dries. There we go. Because I smooshed too much glue on there. Right, the next one. Let's hope if this one is too long, I'll have to. Oh, just makes it. Just makes it. Just. I've got to be careful not to go too high with my glue. Not to here because I seem to be getting it inside. So I've got to line this up carefully, like so. I've just made it. Lucky, I'm very lucky because I don't want to have to stop and re glue anything like trim and re glue. I like the letters, yep, and then one more. I hope this is not too boring for you guys, it's not the most stimulating video ever. And that one comes over a little bit over the top because it was tall. I could have trimmed that. I should have measured it. But I actually don't mind it. I don't mind that peeking out the top there. Okay, so I can close my glue. We don't need any more glue. And my next job is to have a sip of coffee. And 
get my crocodile and I'm just going to do them all different colors. I'm just going to grab whatever. How do I open it? That way. Now, we're going to streamline the process. And we're going to go through and eyeball where the center is, more or less, and punch it out. I think I'll streamline it and do them all. this one I do really love these I don't know why I like them so much I just do they're not even embellished or anything like that I just like them and then there's this one so I'm going to go through and 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 put all the eyelets in all of them and then whatever ones get there their um, baker's twine through and tied up will be classed as finished. I mean, you can be pedantic if you like and, and measure. measure it. You can measure where the centre is. I don't. Because I'm, you know. Okay, so now it's just time to put these in and I'm just going to put them in randomly. This is the fiddly bit for me. I find this bit a bit fiddly. I have to slow down here. Okay. Oh, well that's not helping us, is it? You've got to line up the, the top and bottom, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay. Now, I'll choose another colour. Now, that one didn't work. Maybe I'll just ditch that one. I might have been able to fix it. Maybe I'll just go with this one. Um, I might have been able to fix it, but I just don't want to, if I, then I'll ruin it. So I told you, this is a bit fiddly, this bit. Does anybody else find it fiddly? I find it a bit fiddly. Because I know that if I don't do it properly, then they don't, um, they don't work. That one worked. i do two of each colour. that one and we'll do two of these I like the black whoopsie got eyelets flying everywhere Helps if you can get your eyelets out of the container, oops, and not flip them over into the other colour. That's really helpful. I think I like the gold in that one. I'll put a brass one in this one, I think. That one. Oh, I've got plenty of time. Okay, that's done. Right, now this bit. You can use whatever you like. So you can have it going, I could have it going that way. Is that the way I want it to go? Yes, that is the way it goes. Then you can glue it at the back if you want to, if you want it to be permanent. I don't necessarily do that, but you can if you want it to be permanent. That might be just a bit too long. Okay, 
that's one. Oh, let's just double check before I tie it. That it opens. Oh, yeah, it's so cool. I love it. And tie your bow. And we can class that one as done. Let's check that one opens. Yes, okay. So I'm coming in from under. I don't know if there's an, a better way of folding it, um, threading it. I'm just going to cut it a little bit shorter. I love um, Baker's twine. Just love it. That one. Let's crease our creases a bit better. Okay, let's check this one. I like the letters too. The letters are great. That one opens. I even like the different pages inside. And then you can go and put a little embellishment on it. You could put a little bit of washi tape at the back. Um, we might do that. Could put a nice piece of washi tape at the back just to hold it. If we've got time, we'll put some washi tape just to hold it still I love them I don't know why I like them so much I just love them wonder what I'm going to do next after this. I did make a list. I don't think this was on my list. I can't remember. But I did decide along the way that I wanted to do them. Let's check this one. That one's good. So putting the washing tape at the end, unless I... I, I don't think you need to include that in the time, but if you get it done during the time, that's a perfect bonus. As I said, the, the finished product is just everything constructed and tied shut. Not decorated, nothing else. But if you're a super whiz, you might get that done as well. I think I've got three more to tie. So we might, well, I think we will get that done. Huh? Unless I faff about for some reason. That's that one. That's that one. Oh, I love them. And be, it, before you, like, if you're going to put washi tape or glue a piece of paper along on the back to hold the trim, I would do it after you've tied it. Just so you make sure you've got it all in the right spot. Just making sure that all opens. Last one, does that one open? Yes. So we've got nine. Nine are done in the possibly we could have even had ten. I don't know. I've only got two two minutes left, so I don't know whether I could have had ten, but we can certainly um, do the washi tape bit, I think, in the time frame. See, I don't really want to cover that there. But what I would do is I could grab 
make sure it's straight you could grab a piece of paper oh that's pretty i'm going to glue that there so just get some glue even with a nice piece of paper you can put that on the back if you want to it might help if i open my glue a bit better and i'm covering the writing and i'm covering the the gargoyle face but i don't care and that will hold it there a little bit i didn't put any glue under the string but i think that's pretty yeah okay so let's do some more just straighten it and decide where are you going like i've got these here these could be cool let's pull these off these are just some of my printables on um tea dyed paper I'll just take that little edge off so obviously if you're going to start mucking about like me like doing that then you won't get it done there and I'm putting it the other one I put on the bottom side oh that's not in the rubbish um but I'm I'm putting this one even though that's upside down I'm putting it on the upside we'll do this one the same considering they are the same and I've got it just right here and then you won't have floating um string This one, what will we put on that one? Um, oh, I've got a nice piece of graphics fairy letter. You could put it in the centre, you could put it at the top. I'm just putting it at the top there. I won't put that piece. And um, what else? No. Let's get some washi tape. The timer's about to go. Um, what washi tape will I use? Something like that. That's the timer. So we got nine done. We got nine done and I'm just adding. This is very sticky, this washi tape. So I'm just going to add, stick that one in the middle. Some washi tape on all of them. Oh, this one needs the tape at the top. I'm just going to put it there. Um, what will I put on this one? Hmm. Decisions. No, not that one. I think I'll put this blue one. Do the same on this one. And then, oh, now I don't want to cover all that nice. I'm going to use the blue again because I like it with the colours that are on there. And I don't want to cover that up. So I'm just going to put it up here. Yeah. Okay, so there they are. We are done. So there they are this is these are the nine i think they're nine uh trifold ephemera holders yeah let's make sure that's all stuck down properly otherwise we'll be sticking to things and i just love these i don't know why as i keep saying i don't know why i love them but i do there and as you can see you can have fun as to what you stick on the back um, for each one. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, that's it. Okay, yeah, you can have fun what you stick on the back to embellish them. I mean, you can put something here if you want to put some flowers, like a little collage here, put a label, whatever you like on them, or just leave them as they are because the papers are really lovely. Put a pocket on the back if you want to. Um, yeah, there's so many possibilities, but really, really fun. I love these. So there you go. So thank you for watching, and I'll be back next Monday with uh, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So I hope you're all having fun and having a great day, and I will see you again soon. Bye.